going on everyone welcome back to the gloss garage where we make detailing simple my name is sock and today i have something special for you guys so i did buy a bunch of stuff on diy detail and unfortunately somebody ended up stealing the package literally five minutes after it was delivered so diy was amazing enough to go ahead and send me pretty much another order but yeah so i am doing a ceramic coating i am using the diy detail five year ceramic coating and yeah so i'm gonna be using that on the honda fit i also do have their three year and their eight year ceramic coating as well so we're gonna use these in the future as well the three and eight year one but the honda fit it got a fresh repaint we're gonna give it great durability and protection and we're gonna use the five year with the ultimate gloss and shine the whole vehicle was repainted but when the owner gets here we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the paint Look how the paint job is. I'm sure it's a pretty decent paint job because based on the pictures that he sent me, it's amazing. And also, um, what else I got was I ordered the six case of the water spot remover. You could never have too much water spot remover. And I'm gonna douse the whole thing as well just to make sure to ensure any water spots. I do have the tree and sap remover. I did order another gallon of the rinse and swash. There are uh, tire dressing applicator for the tires and more drying blankets so yeah oh and the last thing is the coating applicators i got a three pack and that's about it so pretty much yeah so i will be doing a pretty much just a one step on that honda fit and i will be using the rotary i'll be using the bigfoot lhr 19 rotary this is still the same lake country backing plate is just black it's the same thing as this yellow one it's a six inch and i also do have a five inch backing plate but that will be more in the future but pretty much uh the main purpose of this video is just more of actually we're going to prep decon do the whole nine yards off screen and then we're going to talk about the polishing stuff and i'm going to use the red foam pad from diy detail that's not out yet i'm going to go ahead and use it on the paint Nah, I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say because I saw these water spots. Yeah. Oh, there you go. All right, everyone. So we're up to the polishing part. This is the main part of the video that I really wanted to touch up on. And right here, I got my good friend, Wilbert. He is not a detailer. Are you a detailer by any nah. chance? So you're, no, no way. No way. So you're, <laughs> just, so you're just learning how to detail. He's learning this stuff. But we're going to go ahead and apply the five-year ceramic coating from DIY Detail. He did get this, this Honda Fit uh, repainted. It's not a bad paint job. It's actually a really good paint job. Little sanding marks, which is normal. It's nothing you know, wrong with that. But we're gonna go ahead and address that. We're just gonna go for really shiny scratches on the vehicle. We're gonna, go, we're gonna use the rotary. He's gonna use the rotary on his own car. So if he burns his paint, that's on him. All right, <laughs> yeah, so that's on you. But um, I'm gonna show him how to use the rotary. We're gonna polish it, do a quick little one step. And then from there, just coat the vehicle. And as I stated before, that DIY detail five-year ceramic coating, what we're going to do is we're going to put it to the test. It's raining outside. It's windy. It has a one-hour cure time, but I'm giving them the five-year ceramic coating. And after one hour, it could go ahead and get wet. But of course, do not wash your vehicle within the next seven days. Okay. And then um, we'll meet up again within seven to 14 days, within two weeks, and then we'll wash it. We'll do another update on the vehicle, see if the ceramic coating actually cured the way it's supposed to be cured. And you guys are gonna watch him install as well, the ceramic coating, the five year, just to prove that this is a actual, it's a professional line or a DIY line, but professionals could use it as well. And even a uh, weekend warrior could use it as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the polishing and let's move you guys in let's move on to the paint just look at the paint and just a quick rundown right when you see the swirls scratches light oxidation water spots and deep sanding marks he did get this repainted back in november of 2022 so we're talking about a little over eight months ago and is just fine and based on the price point of what he said he paid for this is an exceptional paint job and yes you're gonna have orange peel and you will never get a paint job that's as good as factory unless you paying tens of thousands of dollars to get that type of finish but this is an overall not a bad paint job and even once we polish it and enhance the gloss it just looks even better and we were able to remove some of those sanding smudges that were left around which is normal even factory leaves 
sanding marks on the paint but overall you just have water spots water etchings light oxidation and even in the video will ends up using the rotary and he used it the entire time and he struggled a bit at first but once he started getting the hang of it he was just enjoying the whole process on how well this could finish down all right so we're up to the polishing step and what we're going to use is the rotary with the diy detail red foam pad that's not out yet is the waffle pad it has great cutting abilities and the amount of gloss and shine that you get is absolutely amazing so before we get started with the polishing step i will be also be using the gold standard go ahead and one spray on the on the pad i already washed it with the pad washer just to save some time so let's move up to the paint so you can see exactly all these little water spots that you see and we're gonna go ahead we already used the water spot remover from diy detail these are just the water spot remover is to go ahead and break down those minerals and and yeah so once we broke down the minerals now we can actually polish out the water spots so let's give this a shot i did a 50 50 tape line and we're gonna see the results speed setting one on the rotary and i'm just gonna do just this half right here and no pressure It's a speed setting one on the Rupes and it's 450 RPM. And you could do a bigger section and this gold standard polish has a lot of work time. So I am not worried about it drying up on me. No pressure on the rotary either. It does not stain plastic trim either. So you just go back and forth. I'm gonna do about four section passes. No pressure, keep the pad flat. You can even do this on one hand if you want. And you'll be fine. And we're gonna see the amount of gloss. This is the last section pass. And we're gonna see how many holograms we left behind. So. And this is, the, this is the first test spot with this rotary. So we're gonna see if we remove some water spots off it. That was four section passes, pretty quick. And a lot of people always say use panel wipe. So I got the DIY detail panel wipe, spray it on the towel and just buff off the rest of this polish residue. Grab your second one. And we're just going for gloss and shiny scratches. We're not going for anything else. We're not going for perfection. This is a repaint on the car, so I don't know how much exact paint this vehicle has, but let's take a look. Um, can you move up to the paint and see if we still see the crazy amount of water spots on that top half compared to the left? Does it look shinier? Yeah. Yep. Perfect. So that's it and no holograms. So that's what we're going for. I may do a uh, speed setting uh, two on the rotary just to give it a little more cut. And yeah, so I'm gonna do this half right here and off camera I will show you the full 50-50 once I remove the tape line. All right, Rose, so what did you think about using the rotary? You did this bottom half off screen. Was it easy to use or was it hard to use? It was pretty easy. Honestly, it was just a little it was a little scary because, you know, it's my first time doing it, but, you know, it was pretty simple. You know, just let the machine go. You're just guiding it with both hands, not playing any pressure, keeping it flat. Um, my car has this little, like, bolt right here that was a little, you know, had to make adjustments to it. But, you know, after a couple of times of doing it, you know, you really get it down. Yeah. And then he actually did some great correction capabilities no holograms whatsoever so i'm gonna bring you guys in right mm -hmm. now just to show the tape line so in the meantime while i get the camera we'll just remove the tape line sounds good and i could go ahead and start removing that and let me grab that um you know what we could do will too yeah do me a favor mm -hmm. even though it shows it here on camera can you grab the um the, the LED light? light? Yeah. yeah, you could throw that on the floor. So just look. 
No holograms. Look at the correction capabilities just with four section passes. Left half, that's not done. And the right half. You can stay right there, Will. That's perfect. And you right. can leave it up. Leave it up as such. And you can just stay there. Yep. Just hold it. I'll just... So this is the before and after, just with the rotary. There are some deeper sanding marks and stuff like that. We're not gonna worry about that. That's just done because of the repaint. It's normal. But the camera picks up more than what the actual, what the human eye can see, but this technically looks perfect in person. So we're gonna go ahead and continue polishing. Will's gonna help out polish. He's gonna learn and we're up to applying the DIY detail ceramic coating, the five year one. And it's a small 30 mil bottle. It's one ounce. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. This is my first time applying this. Uh, you know, we're gonna see how much gloss and shine this ceramic coating actually does apply. And this is also the DIY detail foam applicator. So let's go ahead. I shook this up a little bit. And any ceramic coating, you wanna shake it up. Even though this one isn't the graphene one, you still wanna shake it up just a little bit. So that way we can mix all, you know, the chemicals and anything that's probably in there and you have a nice little tip right there dropper and we're going to go ahead and apply it and this dropper is very generous so i applied a lot in terms of smell this does smell a lot different compared to the regular one that they had out first and what we're going to do is i've already primed the actual applicator and now we're going to put it onto the paint so I'm gonna do this half of the section. You could go in circles, squares, triangles. We've already used panel prep. We did everything on this vehicle. And it actually goes on fairly smooth. And we're just gonna apply the ceramic coating onto the paint. And I did apply a little too much because we're priming the foam pad, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to do a larger section and we're going to test out this coating. And overall, this coating at the same time, it is humid. It is not cold. It's about 50, uh, not 50, at least like 60 degrees outside. But we're going to test, it, but it is super humid. So we're going to test out and see how it reacts in this type of temperature. And yeah, so this whole area is coated as such. Just double checking, making sure I didn't put anything. And while we wait, just stay, just look at the paint while I grab the light. So we can see if it sweats, if it rainbows and stuff like that. So with this light and this angle, I'm gonna bring it over to the other side. I apologize if I cut through the camera. It starts sweating. There's no rainbowing effect, but if you come up close where there's a slight rainbow, but it flashes off easily into like a sweat. So what we want to do is give it about two to three minutes and see how it starts being 50% clear. As you can see the rainbowing, the oil slick on water is disappearing. So we're going to give it another probably five, five to 10 seconds. So let me put this to the side as those, as we count down, I could probably let it sit there for longer, but for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna go grab my coating removal towels. So we're not technically removing the coating. What we're technically doing is just leveling the coating off. And I could still wait a little more. And can you see that, Will? By any chance, do you see like that oil slick? It looks like there's oil on the paint. Do you see that? No. Yeah, you see it right there. Those streaks? Yeah, the streaks. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave that there. And we're just going to wait a little more. So, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just level off the coating. So you don't want to buff off the coating. So I'm going to go ahead and put one towel on and zero pressure. I'm just distributing the coating onto the paint. You do not want to buff off the coating. And wow, this is actually really, really, really slick. And what we're gonna do is have Will do one part of this hood as well, or a section of the vehicle, to see if how he feels about the ceramic coating. Put this to the side. Grab your second 
buff off but it's not really a buff off it's just more leveling off again like i said with the towel and you're just gonna move it across just make sure we get the adjacent areas and this coating is not super slick but it's definitely slick under the towel and you feel it and that's about it once we're done we've leveled the coating and come up close to the paint wheel do you see any more oily streaks no right nope. nice shiny glossy paint and that's about it all right everyone so here are my final thoughts on the diy detail five year ceramic coating it is super easy to use the flash time is exceptional it has a long work time and just work within your means it was 60 degrees in my garage and it was super humid because it was raining outside and will is applying the ceramic coating onto his own vehicle now what we did in this clip and what we actually did was we moved the camera back and forth but we really just applied the ceramic coating on the right half of the vehicle went over to the left half of the vehicle applied the ceramic coating on the left half of the vehicle and then we came back to the right half and just leveled off the coating then went back to the other side and leveled off the coating that's how easy the ceramic coating was to use now in terms of flash time when you apply it onto the paint it goes on to like a rainbowish type of look oil slick on water then you wait for it to go clear then it sweats and then once it's almost clear once it's like sweat slash clear you are ready to go ahead and level off the coating and it is not grabby in any sense of the form and also we did apply this onto the windshield now in terms of the foam applicator this applicator is exceptional and pretty much it holds enough product and you see us coating like pretty much one whole half of the vehicle and i still have a this is a honda fit it is a smaller vehicle but i have about three quarters of the bottles left we really didn't apply anything whatsoever besides when i overly primed my foam applicator on the first half of the video and yeah you see me applying it to the side view mirror the whole right fender and half the door that's how much that was used with just three to four drops after the foam applicator was primed and the strap does not break off easily and that is something that i love and the foam applicator actually distributes the product or or you know holds more ceramic coating product on the foam applicator compared to others that i've used on the market where the straps break and then the ceramic coating it, it just doesn't it just absorbs the coating and it just doesn't help distribute whatsoever on the paint so if you guys definitely want something to apply ceramic coating you guys will love this foam applicator so let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this diy detail five year ceramic coating have you guys used it yet and if i've missed anything that you guys are willing to ask and that i may be able to answer for you guys in terms of the use and yes i did say i have three quarters but it's a little bit over half it is a 30 mil bottle and i did apply a little more than i usually did but that's because of me over priming the applicator but other than that i also want to thank diy detail for sending me out the three five and eight year and sending me out the coding and they just send it out on the whim they just said try it out if you like it you like it if you don't let us know and i'm not going to feature anything that i don't like on my channel i've i have other products that i literally do not like and i speak to other detailers that i'm friends with and they know that i i will never talk bad about a company but if i really like something i will showcase it on my channel and even will saw my whole assortment of detailing products that i have inside my garage that you guys don't see but those are the ones that i just don't like too much that's on the other side and one last thing in terms of applying the ceramic coating onto the glass or onto the windshield which is super simple the flash time was quick easy and that was it as in terms of the cowl you see the plastic is faded and we did use solution finish on it and then we waited 24 hours and then applied the diy detail five year ceramic coating to seal that dark rich look all right everyone so we finished the entire detail on will's fit and pretty much we use the diy detail five year ceramic coating for that ultimate gloss that durable protection and we also used their new applicator and it worked beautifully it did not snap off 
whatsoever like another one that i've used before that just snaps off right away the minute it gets grabby and one thing that i didn't know on the video was that this paint actually feels super slick under the towel and you know let me put this away so you're not standing there so will so let me know is it is, is it slick under the towel yeah the coating at first it feels, it, like, it feels like you know <clears throat> If you were to throw the towel, it's gonna slip right off. Yeah, That's how smooth it is. Exactly. And the crazy thing is that at first it felt grabby, remember? Yeah. And that, like I said on the video, yeah, but like this sticky. is just sliding off. Look at that, yeah. That's exactly what I was saying. Look. So, so it's a super slick coating. It's actually just, it, it's a phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So, Will, what overall is your experience doing the process with, you know, with me and learning how to use the rotary and also applying the ceramic coating. What do you think about the overall process? Well, I gotta say that uh, I have a lot more respect now for detailers. I mean, you know, the tools are easy to use. It's just, it takes skill to actually perfect it. You know, I kept messing up the angle. And then with that being said, you know, practice makes perfect. Yep. And uh, I will definitely do it again, but I, I have a lot of practice to yeah. do. <laughs> yeah. So he did great with the rotary. It's just he was was having problem keeping the pad flat. But at the mm -hmm. end, he was pretty much just great, and there was no issues. Now overall, with the ceramic coating part, was this ceramic coating hard to apply? Was it easy? It's probably the easiest part of the job. <laughs> the you easiest. Know, you just spray it on the the pad, you and, know, and just apply. Apply it. it. Now. No pressure at all. And the craziest thing is that this is his first ceramic coating that he's ever used. I've used plenty in my lifetime. So pretty much this coating, we literally coated half the car or pretty much we coated one half of the car, came over, coated the opposite side. And once we finished coating the second side, we walked over and started leveling off the coating on one side and then came back around and started leveling the coating off on that side. Exactly. Am I right? Yeah, exactly. It was just that easy. On, on video, you're gonna see that we did one side, but in reality, we walked the camera over mm -hmm. and did that it was how long did it take us to coat 15 minutes probably yeah, yeah. I, would, I would even say less but uh it's good um like you said it's my first one yeah but i've heard that you know some of them just dry so they cure so fast that you have to like you know apply and then go back right away go, yeah so, so this one was good because it gave you time to apply it and then you move on to the next panel and then the next panel and then you come back and you buff it out. Exactly. And then the thing is that a lot of the old coatings at the same time does leave it a bit tacky, the surface. This is literally super slick. It's just a super slick coating. And then on top of that, just the gloss, like the, the gloss difference that we see before we even apply the ceramic coating mm -hmm. is just insane. And I can't, I can't wait until this vehicle gets, um, once it's fully cured. Now, one thing I did say inside the intro before Will came in, was I said we were gonna test it out and use the ceramic coating and then after an hour, go ahead and take it. But Will decided to go ahead and leave the car here because he wants to enjoy it when it's fully shiny and glossy because the minute he saw how shiny and glossy the, the car was, he, just, he said he doesn't even want to take it out in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so even though there's nothing wrong with that, it yeah. is, but you know, I'm gonna hold it and then, um, yeah, so that's about it. So if you guys like this type of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And Will, pleasure. Thank you, doing best for you, man. Yep, and then on top of that, we use the DIY detail product line. We use the gold standard polish, the whole from start to finish on this vehicle. And if you guys want 10% off on any DIY detail products, use code DMS at checkout. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace out.